Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Tyler, and about a week ago, I asked over on my community tab what video you guys would be interested in seeing next, and I gave you four, personally I think, outstanding options, okay? Tarot readings, I mean bad tarot readings of both Sable Curse characters and Marionetta. I'm sorry. Genius. I did that with Purple Hyacinth. It was so much fun. And then I also put in a reaction to the Potion Witch. I'm gonna make all three of those videos too, but y'all chose me sitting down and rambling with you about what webtoon series that I personally want to see turned into a physical book. I'm surprised. I'm shocked a little bit. I'm honored. I'm really quite thrilled that you guys want to just vibe with me. I think it opens a conversation, right? Like, you can tell me what stories you want to have in, in book form and it'll be a grand old time. So before we get too far into it though, if you are a fan of Webtoon and Webtoon related content, then please consider subscribing to my channel, okay? Because I do put out content like this, this as often as I can. And I also put out a weekly podcast, weekly-ish. It's a good time, it's relaxed. Consider subscribing, liking, commenting, all that jazz. And with that out of the way, this video is gonna be, dare I say, unpolished. I think it'll be more polished than like a podcast, but it's gonna be a little less polished than a normal video because I didn't want it to turn into a redundant, like I'm gonna sit down and talk about all my favorite webtoons for the 12th time. Um, I know that's fun. I just, I thought maybe, I'd switch it up a little bit. We'd, we'd have more of like a hangout hour. We're probably not gonna be here for an hour, but I go through my collection of Webtoon books that I already have. We talk about it a little bit. I talk about like what my favorite things that I'm looking for when it comes to a Webtoon being turned into a book. I know there's a different word, but I'm like blanking. Just, I don't know, just kind of go over that a little bit because I do have a list here of some series that I would love to have physically, but I don't know, I feel like I need to kind of explain myself in a way because I didn't want to just go down the line and pick every single one of my favorite series because honestly, I don't I don't necessarily know if they would all show up as a physical book as well as others. So hopefully you're understanding what I'm trying to say there. The first things I'm gonna show you are actually these Webtoon activity books that I got because I think that that falls under the same I, genre of like physical webtoon stuff that you can own and I really like this idea I'm glad that they started doing it and after I show you the couple that I have and tell you about the one that I've pre-ordered I do have a couple in mind that I would like to see in the future if you know maybe we can come together as a group and make like a strongly worded letter to send them <laughs> be like make this into an activity book and they'll listen who knows the ones that I have I have to be completely transparent webtoon sent me out of the kindness of their hearts. I don't know. Am I selling this to you? Is it working? Should I be asking for commission? Is this pride coloring book, which I think is so fantastic. I love it so much. It has a collection of series. So it's not just one series. There's so many different series inside this book. One of my favorite things about these coloring books through Webtoon are that on either side, they have the fully colored page so that you can have like a reference or Big braining here. You could just exacto knife that out and hang it on your wall. <laughs> That's another thought I had. I would have bought this anyways. I just think it's really fun and I like that there's so many different stories in it. So I can like color all my favorite little ships. Very excited. The other coloring book I would have bought if they hadn't sent it to me is the Morgana and Oz coloring book, which was also going to be a book that I was wanting, but it is getting an official physical release. So Woo! <laughs> you can get the coloring book and the physical book, but this is very cool. I'm really excited to get into this. And again, <laughs> part of me just wants to take the fully colored pages out and just cut them out and stick them on my wall. <laughs> Not even color it myself, because like, that's gonna suck, but just take, take this part out. And I think that they would be fun in the form of different Webtoon artists just doing designs for them as well. Kind of like the adult coloring book craze that like took the nation by storm a while ago. I'm thinking of some very specific artists like Joe, the creator of Faze. I think if he put out a coloring book, it would be, I would die. I think I'd sell part of my soul for that, honestly, because he makes some of the coolest tattoo designs for Leon, one of his main characters. And also just Faze in general is such a beautifully drawn and the colors pop. I don't even know if I'd be able to replicate it, but like, I would like to try. I think that'd be a really fun coloring book. Another one I think would be fun to color would be Everything is Fine, which I know it's more of a simplistic style, but that's exactly why I think it would be really fun to color. I think I would enjoy kind of getting to go in and just, it would be relaxing, right? So those are the coloring books I would like to see. And, and another thing that they did start putting out though are these learn to draw activity books as well. And I also have the Morgana and Oz one because they sent it to me. 
I don't know if I would have bought this or not, but I'm glad they sent it to me because now I kind of do want to buy more of them <laughs> because I was going through it and it, it has a lot of cool information about body proportions and face proportions and like folds on clothes and how to make them, like how to shade them and stuff. I think that would be really cool with a few different styles, especially some of my favorite series. I think it would be neat to get a learn to draw book from. So all in all, I'm actually really glad I got this. And now that I've seen it and flipped through it, I probably will buy more. <laughs> but I am currently sitting on a pre-order for the Cursed Princess Club coloring book. I might be grabbing the activity book too. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I wanna say there's a True Beauty coloring book. I know Cursed Princess Club. Unordinary, there's probably a couple more and I'm just, they're not, they're not registering. And you can also buy a hooky coloring book in stores, like just at Walmart. I saw it the other day. I was like, did you know this was here? Because I didn't know that was, it literally shook me to my core. I like the coloring book angle though. I'm really excited for more of those to come out. And I, I really think it'd be neat if certain artists just put out a coloring book. Now that I'm thinking of it, I'm like so many of these artists would make such bomb ass coloring books. I would buy those up in a heartbeat just for like some relaxing at night. Mm. Have you ever thought about being a coloring book artist? Let me know. Okay. Y'all, I have a collection of Webtoon books. And one of my greatest fears is actually all of my favorite Webtoons turning into books because then I'm gonna feel the need to physically collect them all. <laughs> and then my house is just gonna turn into a zoo of books, also known as a library. I always get anxiety because I'm like, I have too much stuff, <laughs> but I'm weak and I probably will collect them all. And let's go ahead and just start with the fact that I do have all three volumes of Cursed Princess Club that are physically available right now. I just want to say one of the main reasons that I even wanted to go through my book collection was because I wanted to specifically talk about Cursed Princess Club and how much I love the way it was transferred into graphic novel, the way that they went about it. I know Lambcat worked really hard to kind of rearrange some of these panels and redo some artwork and stuff and it paid off in full because the way that this came out in physical book form is outstanding. It's what I look to when I try to think about what Webtoon series I want to see turned into a graphic novel because I just, it's so easy to read. I don't struggle, which I have had happen with certain Webtoons to graphic novel. It was easier for me to scroll them and like I liked that format better, but Curse Princess Club I think did such a great job. I love it. And yeah, I have all three available volumes and I've pre-ordered volume four already too. So that'll be showing up to my doorstep the day that it comes out. And it's just, it's a beloved series of mine to begin with, but I just think that it turned into a book so beautifully that it has now become what I look to. I want my graphic novels to look like this when I'm thinking of a webtoon being turned into a book. Another one I just picked up the other day because I kept running into it in the store is Unholy Blood. I wasn't gonna buy it. <laughs> Because again, I'm sitting here like, I can't have every single Webtoon book, but I just kept seeing it in the store. And then I started going through it. I'm not gonna pretend that flipping to a page of Father Michael doesn't help. It does. I think I physically need that in my life. I like how this one transferred to book form too. And I'm really glad that I got it. I can't say for sure that I'm going to be trying to keep up with collecting every single volume of Unholy Blood. Knowing me, if I run into it in a store, I probably will buy it. But uh, I just knew I had to have at least this one because this is a classic. This one I got from Webtoon and Wattpad. They sent me the Third Shift Society Volume 1 and I'd never read Third Shift Society before so I did. I actually read it in book form first and oh my god I felt so silly because I was like how did I never read this before? Like where was I? What was I doing? Where what was I doing that I didn't read this story about a man with a pumpkin head and his probable love interest? Like are you telling me a person falls in love with a pumpkin? <laughs> Sign me up, where was I? I actually read it in book form before I read it in webtoon form and I enjoyed both equally. I thought it was very well done. I think the one thing that reading Third Shift Society in physical form taught me was that this is such a fantastic way to get more people in the general public into webtoons. You see these in stores, maybe you buy it for someone, maybe you buy it for yourself, you read through it and you're like, oh, that was only chapter 12. And then you realize, wait, there's like 60 more chapters on webtoon and then boom, not only are they on the app, but they're now they're looking at other stories on the, I don't know, I think it's a really great way to like introduce the general public to webtoon as a whole. So I'm forever and always gonna be 
supportive of that. And that's another reason to buy the books because then I'm like, oh, I got to add to the people buying it so that Webtoon knows that they're successful and they make more books. <laughs> I can talk myself into anything. <laughs> also, it is truly tragic, but my birds did chew on this book. It's okay. I still love it with my whole heart and I'm very protective of it now. Another one that was beautifully turned into graphic novels is, of course, everything is fine. And I will 100% without a shadow of a doubt be collecting every single volume of this that comes out. I love the everything is fine books. I love the series as a whole and I just, it feels so special to be able to hold them. Mike sent me this copy. I just, I feel special every time I open it. <laughs> I'm like, oh look, it was signed by the author. <laughs> um, yeah, not to brag. The last one I'm going to show you anyways is Age Matters, which a lot of you know was like my gateway into the really big Webtoon fandom. So of course, when I knew it was going to be a physical book, I ordered it immediately. Like the second I saw it was going to be in physical form, I ordered it. I'm going to be completely honest with you though. I don't know if I'm going to collect the rest of these ones. I love Age Matters. They renamed Daniel's company to mine instead of lime. And they gave it like the weirdest, it's like the crappiest looking logo ever. Like, I don't know what they were doing when they made this book. It really brought me out of it though. And it made me sad. I don't think that'd be a problem to a lot of other people who didn't rapidly ingest this story like 40 times. But for me, somebody who read it so many times, it was kind of like a jump scare to see the major company that the story revolves around renamed and given a really weird logo. Why can't it be Lime? What's wrong with Lime? Is it because it's close to Apple? Like, I don't get it. I don't understand whatever. Moving on. Now that you've seen my collection, let's go ahead and get on with the series that I would personally love to have turned into a novel. Um, one of them, like I already mentioned, is Morgana and Oz, but good news, friends, it is becoming a novel, okay? It's available for pre-order right now. Same goes for Love Advice from the Great Duke of Hell. That's one of my favorite series of all time. It made me laugh so hard I cried. I was like shaking my husband awake because I was laughing like reading it at three in the morning. It's a masterpiece and the second I found out that was getting turned into a book I also pre-ordered it. How's that going? You not buying every webtoon book. It's going bad. Okay so the first one I want to get out of the way because technically you actually can buy graphic novels of this. They're just in Korean and that is The Greatest Estate Developer. I fell down a deep dark rabbit hole where I realized I was in love with The Greatest Estate Developer. I think it's a masterpiece. It is hilarious, heartwarming. They feel so real and magical to me. I love the little summons that Lloyd gets. They mean everything to me. Uh, there's a little bit of romance. It's happening. Of course, it's been over 100 episodes, but honestly, I love that. Like, give me a slow burn that I don't even know is happening for 100 episodes. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it so much and I, I need it. I need it physically in my life. What I'm kind of hoping for, and the reason I even bring it up, is because I just want it anyways, but I remember Unholy Blood being released in physical books in Korea first, and then we did get it. So, I'm, guys, I'm hoping with my whole heart <laughs> that that means I'm gonna be able to get my hands on it eventually. And I feel like that's gonna be a long one because those, those episodes are so long and that series is really long, but worth it. I would buy every single volume of The Greatest Estate Developer in a heartbeat. I don't care if it takes 10 years to collect them all, that's, that story is goaded. <laughs> it's so good. The next one that I am dying, I'm dying for in physical print is Sable Curse. I don't think anybody is surprised if you've been paying attention to me lately on any of my social media. I am head over heels for Sable Curse. I've brain rotted out to the extreme. I didn't think I could do this again, okay? I've been in a lot of fandoms over my life, but I thought, okay, I'm, I like webtoons. I read them all the time. There's no way I'm gonna become that obsessed with one again. And then Sable Curse came into my life. And I have found it hard to focus on anything else, to be completely honest. So naturally, I feel like I need it in physical print. It's not just because it's my favorite, okay? Like I said, I didn't want this to just become another video where all I do is babble about the stories because they're my favorite. Because I do have a lot of stories that I really like that I wouldn't necessarily choose to have turned into a printed copy. So just for the record, the style of Sable Curse is so unique. It's, br it's honestly breathtaking. And I think that it would bring in new audiences if they just saw the cover, like if they just saw a cover with Sable House on it and they just knew that it was like a fantasy, you know, undertones of romance, I think that would bring in a whole new crowd of people. And I just want more people to experience this story who don't read webtoons necessarily. So I, I feel like a physical version of Sable Curse is so important to my soul. <laughs> and my purpose here on earth. And I just need it, I need it. It's such a good story. 
and I think it deserves physical form. Oh my god, I think that would reel in so many people. I, the style alone, stunning. It blew me away the minute I saw it, and I had to have more. And it gave me so many warm, like cozy kind of fantasy. It, oh, it's so good. Let's move on. <laughs> There's a little bit of a trend here, okay, because the next one on my list is The Blind Prince. Again, a massive reason I think The Blind Prince should be turned into a physical book is because the style is so unique and stunning and the overall vibe in the story being like a fantasy romance will have so many people gravitating towards it if all they do is see it on a shelf. The Blind Prince is also a masterpiece. I was enamored with it the second I saw the style. It blew me away, okay? If you have not read The Blind Prince yet, you need to. It's so well done. The story is adorable. It's definitely a slow burn. One of my favorite things about it is I saw that the creator said that she created her two main characters, Seven and Elaine, for each other. And listen, I'm a sucker for that shit. I think that it's another one that would do really well being turned into a physical book. And I think it would draw in a new crowd of people. I would like to see it. Speaking of beautiful and I want to see it, I think I need this to happen or I might perish. And that's never more. Can you imagine Lenore and Annabelle Lee physically in front of your face in a book? Because I can't, I think I would die, but also I feel like I would die if I don't get that. So I'm crossing every limb I have that Nevermore will get turned into physical books. I would definitely collect every volume of that. I would pay the price. I don't care. That story is so good. I think it belongs in print, honestly. I mean, it's, it's Edgar Allan Poe. Much like Sable Curse and The Blind Prince, I'm strictly kind of my brain waves are focusing on the style and like imagine the things they could do too like every volume could have one of the main characters on it like, like it literally lends itself to be turned into a book with all like you could have duke pluto obviously annabelle and and lenore put the deans on there i mean please i need this i like how this just turned into me being like can you please turn this into a book and i'm just talking to people watching me on youtube like none of you can turn this into turn it into a book Okay? Thank you. <laughs> Again, I really, I combed through my favorite series to choose what I wanted because I didn't just want it to be like, my favorite, this is my favorite, and this is my favorite, and this, like, one of my favorites of all time is Purple Hyacinth. And on one hand, would I buy it in physical form? Probably, but I think that Purple Hyacinth would be better if they turned it into, like, an animated series or a, um, even a live action or something. I think Purple Hyacinth would do really good that way. I, I, it's a really well done webtoon. I like to consume it in scrolling, but do I want it physically? I don't know. I say that, but like if they announced that it was gonna be physical, there is a very high chance I would buy it. But I, I really, I wanted to narrow it down. And last but not least, the classic to me, okay? I had to go comb through the archives to even remember that this existed, which is sad because it had me in a chokehold when it was coming out, and that's exactly why I think it needs to be in physical form, so I can go and read it whenever I want, and that is Devil Number 4. Do you guys remember Devil Number 4? That shit was a masterpiece. I am obsessed with it. The artwork was very classic, like Manoir. I'm not gonna pretend like it was super different, but I don't know. I still think there was something very soft and special about Devil Number 4 when it came to the artwork, and I loved the story. I was such a simp for the story. Oh my god. Give me somebody who knew someone else in a past life, but like didn't remember that they knew them, but then they're like, wait, no, and then they're in, I mean, it's like Kamisama Kiss, okay? Give it, I, I will eat it all up. I'll eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I love Devil Number 4, and another reason I think it would make a perfect physical, like, graphic novel set is because, again, those characters lend themselves to being the perfect covers for every single volume. I also think that that's like a classic romance for the ages and it's another one that people would just find and like pick up at the store without necessarily knowing much about it. If they could just look at it and know, oh this is a devil like romance, supernatural. I mean I would pick that up even if I didn't know what a comic was. I'd be like those people look hot. Give me that book. Was this good? After talking your whole ear face off, whatever, let me know what stories from the webtoon platform that you would love to have in graphic novel form. I, I'm genuinely curious because this list was so hard for me to curate. It was like a detective board, like trying to cross out things that I that I still love so much with my whole heart, but I just didn't think would perform well in a graphic novel. And like, there's graphic novels coming out that I don't necessarily think are gonna be great graphic novels, but I, I, I think they'd be better just sticking as a scrolling form webtoon. I, I'm all here to be proven wrong. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I, 
I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.